Well, thanks to uh, a couple of guys on YouTube, Surf and Sapo and uh, Tango Spice, I've gotten addicted to these darn stuffed jalapenos. I don't know what I like better, eating them or come up with different ways of making them. Today I'm going to make some stuffed jalapenos with some of that tasso, that I, tasso ham that I made the other day. So I've gone ahead and kind of rendered this down a little bit, crisped it up a little bit. It's about four ounces. Let it cool down some and then I'm going to pour it into the cream cheese. So it's an eight ounce package of cream cheese. Softened. And then I'm going to add a few splashes of uh, Frank's Red Hot. You could use Crystal or whatever your favorite brand of hot sauce is. I've grown to, grown to like Frank's. Then I'm going to mix that up real good. And put it into a bag to, to fill up the, uh, the jalapenos. Once again, you get these nice big, huge jalapenos. These things are so good. Now what I've done with the, the bacon is I've I found that just a half a strip goes around it perfectly and then I've seasoned one side of the bacon with Zatarain's Creole season. Give it a little bit more of a kick to it. So let me get this uh, mixed up and get it in the bag and I'll show you how you can pipe it in there real easily. Okay, here we go. <coughs> pipe this cream cheese down into some of these. nice and softened. Yep. All you want to do is just cut the tip out of it. That's all you have to do. Grab a jalapeno and just squeeze. Push it down in there a little bit. Well, make sure you cut a hole big enough that uh, the stuff that you're trying to get down in there will fit through. The well, batteries ran out on my camcorder there before I finished that last piece, so let's just try this again with one of these real big ones. Once again, we're going to take the hollowed out jalapeno and start stuffing it. As I said before, make sure you cut that big enough because now I'm starting to get some of the bigger pieces of that tasso. I'll just cut that hole a little bit bigger. There we go. Perfect. Now this is a big one, so I'm going to take one of these bigger pieces of bacon. Put the Cajun seasoning on the outside. Wrap her around. it all the way through. Okay, I got two of them made here. I'm going to go ahead and finish these up and then put them out on the grill. It's a pretty good tip. I like with using these Ziploc bags for piping this in is if you don't use it all, you can take some of this uh, Glad Press and Seal Put it over the, well it helps if you use the right side. Put it over the opening like that, seal that, that's perfectly sealed. And then put it in the refrigerator, use it tomorrow. I'll probably make another batch of them tomorrow. Okay, here we're gonna we're on the grill now. I actually made these a little earlier and put them in the refrigerator. A, you know, I wanted to wait till the guests arrive, so I just put them on. Looks like that'll probably be just fine. I'm gonna go for a while and I'll come back and check them.
They're going to be good. Okay, they're looking really good now. See that? <clears throat> the, the cream cheese mixture kind of starts puffing up out of it. That should be really good. I gotta give a little shout out to my all my old friends up in upstate New York. I found something today at the store really interesting. Genesee Cream Ale. Just as good as I remember it. Boy, I haven't had that in ages. It's good stuff. done. Cream cheese has popped up out of there. Let's just put it on the plate here. And they smell good. That'll recede back a little bit. Poke it back in there a little bit. Yeah, flip you upside down. That looks pretty good to me. Go see how they taste. Well, I think as a tip, in the future. Don't take them out of the stand off the grill on, and put them on a plate uh, because, yeah, the, 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 the stuffing does kind of come up. If you, I brought the stand in and set it back down, then the stuffing kind of does settle back down, then you can kind of push it down a little bit with your finger. Otherwise, it just will continue oozing, but if you leave it like this, it'll be fine. So, let's try one of them. Smells good. Man, these things are addictive. This is really good. I can taste that smoke from the from the tasso. And then the Cajun seasoning with the bacon. Man, these are good. Well, that's it for now. So I come up with another recipe for stuffed jalapenos. <laughs>